Hey everyone, welcome back to Noiseberry Games. So I finished up playing Paranorma Site, The Seven Mysteries of Honjo. I said I would um, in my John's Watch on it, and I also said it would take a while to get to it, and it did, um, because I wanted to finish playing Octopath Traveler 2 before I moved on to Paranorma Site, and I did. I've, I've finally finished it. I played, uh, apart from the footage you're seeing in this video, and apart from my John's Watch video, I played the entirety of the game on my Steam Deck, and it worked absolutely phenomenally. Great game on the Steam Deck. Honestly, probably even better on the Steam Deck than PC, because in my John's Watch video, I noticed that uh, like the 360 degree uh, bits where you like move your camera uh, in a circle around the map, I noticed that those like looked pretty pixely on PC. Absolutely not a problem on the Steam Deck, because it's a, a much smaller screen and you're only playing like 720p, I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, I, I never noticed any pixelization or, or anything on, on the Steam Deck. Uh, something really cool um, that I don't know if people know, but the Steam Deck screen isn't 16 by 9 uh, dimensions, like typical screens are. It's it's 16 by 10, I think it is. Um, but Paranorma Site actually has a resolution to match the Steam Deck. Uh, it just adds like kind of a border to the, the top and bottom. Uh, instead of having like a black border, you've got like kind of a smoky border. Just really cool. Just a, a nice little detail that it has non 16 by 9 dimensions. So anyway, I, I finished the game. It only took me... Steam says my playtime is 11.8 hours. I think some of that was probably idling for cards. Um, so I think probably all in all it probably took me about 8-9 hours, I would guess. And that was to get all six endings. Uh, but definitely not to 100% the game. I've only got 22 out of 34 achievements, and I, I, I didn't feel the need to go back and get all the achievements. I, I, I definitely, I just wanted to play through the story and, and see all six endings, because they were very easy to get. I, I'm a little torn on how I feel about it. I think overall, quite positive. Uh, obviously, I finished it. The setting was really cool in just this, you know, small ward area of Japan. The story was mostly pretty cool. Um, I liked the, you know, the, the mysteries, the seven mysteries. I liked the curse aspect, which you're maybe seeing a little bit of in the footage on screen now. It probably got like a little bit too in depth for me in, in places. There were a couple of times where there's a lot of characters. Like if you look at the, like the, the, the banner of this game on Steam, there's just like a ton of people on it. And th th there's a lot of characters you play as quite a few characters, but there's also a lot of names you have to remember. And there was one point where uh, I was being like quizzed, I guess, by the, the storyteller, I think it was. And he was like, you know, uh, who, who do you think did this or something like that? And like, I think like 12 names pop up on the screen or something. And like, you can go look in your files, but like, you see like all 12 of these names and like none of them stick with me. And it's it, it definitely gets a bit overwhelming with... Uh, so many names being thrown at you in so many different stories and and areas of uh, Japan and, and stuff like that. There's a lot of names coming at you. But on the other hand, it does, you can look at your, your files, your case files at any point and look at the people of interest. So you can always look up the names, uh, but when they're like saying them, you don't want to, you don't want to stop to look at the files every, every single time. So like I mentioned, you do play as several different characters. The, the character that you're seeing on screen right now is pretty much only there in the prologue. You just play as them, uh, as him, Shogo, during the prologue. Uh, and then after the prologue, you move on to uh, basically three different characters. And you play sort of a chapter at a time of each character. And the game gives you uh, a storyboard where you can see where the game is divided into the chapters and and by which character and where the game splits off depending on your choices. And I, I quite like the storyboard aspect, but I wasn't a fan of having to jump back and forth between characters so much. Um, and this was a, this was especially uh, irritating to me after just finishing Octopath Traveler 2, uh, where I also did not enjoy having to jump between characters a lot. And uh, you have to do it a lot in this too. I, I've found that I definitely prefer uh, stories where you just play as one character. 
Um, I'm not a fan of, of, of jumping between the characters. It, 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 I don't know, it just gets hard to keep track of things, I think, when you're, you're going between all these different stories. I don't think I really have too much more to say about it, honestly. Um, I, I mostly enjoyed it, I'd say. Uh, if it had been, I, I think I only stuck with it because I knew it wasn't actually all that long. Um, I think I think How Long to Beat says it's like 13 hours or something to finish it, but that's absolutely not the case. <laughs> so I, I got all the all the endings, um, including the true ending, in obviously like eight or nine hours. I think if it had been longer, it, it probably would have outstayed its welcome for me because there were just bits that I didn't like about it, like having to switch between characters all the time. Not a fan of that. But I, I think the, the length was, was pretty much about right. Uh, I just need to double check the price. 20, 27 bucks. Yeah, maybe a little bit pricey. Twenty is twenty seven Canadian. It, it's possibly a little bit pricey for how long it is. Uh, I guess if you go for all achievements, you're going to um, get more playtime out of it. But I, I didn't like it enough to go for all achievements. But I enjoyed it enough to to stick with the story. I guess. There you go. That was just a, a quick video to uh, follow up on Paranorma Sight: The Seven Mysteries of Honjo. Overall. Mostly positive, I'd say. This is it's not one of my most ringing endorsements of these, like, final thoughts videos I've done. Um, but I, you know, I did finish it. I liked it enough to finish it, I guess. That's, that's the endorsement. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!